a homosexual is, first of all, me. Secondly, it is a person who does not have a home. Thirdly, it is a person who prides himself on taking girls back to their homes to show them a wonderful night, but also use all their accoutrements and toiletries because you ain't got nowhere to live. What's my name? My name is Shirtless Dan. Daniel Shirtless. AKA Shirtless White Male. AKA White Guy, get the fuck out of my way. I wake up every morning when my body tells me to. And I do whatever the fuck I want to. And then I basically just go sell drugs and have a good time. Until tomorrow happens. I did not picture my life as quite a homosexual. But if you would have told me 15 years ago that I was going to just fuck girls, live in their house, have and pay for things while I do laundry and sweep, sweeper, sweeper, a floor once in a while. I mean, I'd be pretty stuck. I don't know about you guys. Selling drugs ten, 10 years ago. There was pride in actually selling drugs. Okay. Even though you were a drug dealer, and you know, it looked how far. You still have a little bit of shit that you have to write about. These days, what the fuck these kids are doing? But selling drugs to me is, how else am I going to sit on a couch inside of a club, drinking and doing cocaine, and making money? That's it. How, how else are you going to do that? Please, tell me. I have not. I haven't heard out yet. I'll, I'll tell you a story. The most serious girlfriend I've ever had since I got divorced. We go up to Oregon to see her mom. And we're in Oregon, I was like, hey, man. What, so what kind of uh, work to do? Well, I'm a drug dealer. That's it. You know, like, I'm not going to lie for anyone. Um, if you want to ask that question, be ready to handle the years old. Don't give a fuck up to my girlfriend's fucking mom. Don't. My mother always asks me, so what have you been up, been up to? I don't know, party my ass off and sell, and sell drugs or across it, all across it. Seriously. You know, like, but she already knew that. So don't ask me some shit that you don't want to hear, you know? Which I'm a drug dealer. Is uh, you make a ton of money, um, you get to party all the time, do whatever the fuck you want to, be your own schedule, you're your own boss. The worst part I would say is seeing everyone who has loyalty break that loyalty because of the drug that you're pe- that you're peddling. Well, I've been selling drugs for 14 years. Um, I used to sell drugs on Hate Street um, at 13 years old. Uh, I've been a Hate Street kid. Um, sold them on and off for another maybe 20 to 25 since I was married. Uh, I didn't want my wife to know anything about it. Uh, she was such an innocent soul. kids and the Uber drivers you get into and everyone in the fucking world with a dry clean c- c- cocaine than somebody else's random bag of bullshit. Now, all I'm doing right now is I am justifying a negative job opportunity. Like, that's fact. Like, well, I just want people to do my cocaine. Yeah, well, I'll make it, I'll make it money off you as well. 
don't think that it is. Just me drawing out of the kindness of my fucking heart. It's not like that. Dude, let's do this interview over, dude. I am literally getting so fucked up right now. 